Next up, Joe Biden tax plan. Uh, whoever you're going to vote for, I'm. this is not a political channel. <laughs> I'm not here to change the world. I'm here to make a profit. <laughs> That's it. So this was just interesting to me because of these are tax proposals. Now, will this go into effect? Well, I mean, maybe if Joe Biden gets elected, sure, that could happen. Or he also has to pass this through the House and the Senate, you know, Congress. So, you know, chances of that, who knows? But these are the things, this is the vision for a specific party, okay? Not that this is right or wrong, but this is just what it is. And you have to start thinking about this right now because if you believe, like I believe, that digital assets are going to go to the moon over the next three, five years, what are you going to do when you are sitting on a million dollars or a million in cryptocurrency and you're like, okay, I need to pay some bills. How do I take this out? Well, now we're talking about capital gains tax, not only in the federal part, but the state part. And I got to do all these different things as far as like my income and taxes and taxes and taxes. What do I do? Well, right now it's not too bad, but here's what could potentially come on the pipe. So former Vice President Joe Biden enacted a number of policies that would raise taxes, include individual income tax and payroll taxes on high income individuals with incomes above 400,000. That doesn't seem like much now, but I'm gonna just imagine this. It's 2016, you bought Ethereum at $10 and you bought, or you bought a thousand, right? So you have a thousand Ethereum. Well, what happens when it goes from $10 Ethereum, which was in 2016, all the way up to, oh, I don't know, $1,400 in 2017, and you wanna cash out? Well, guess what, this 400,000, it doesn't seem that much now, does it? So as time goes on, you have to understand, you might make a lot of money. And if you make a lot of money, this number that you think is unobtainable all of a sudden becomes the norm. And now you're like, well, wait, well, how much I got to pay in that? Well, if you're sitting on a tax bracket, I don't know, it might be 28%, 32%, 30, I forgot, 34%. Let's just say a third, a third. So a third of everything that you have now has to go to the government. And I don't know where you're at in the world. This is just for America. But I can tell you right now that taxes around the globe vary greatly. And there are some states that just are some states, some countries that just are awful and some that are pretty good. But we have to start thinking about these things now as opposed to paying the piper later on. So Biden's plan raised taxes roughly by 3.8 trillion over the next decade on a conventional basis. 3.8 trillion, which is, you know, a good amount of what we printed from nothing. On a conventional basis, the Biden tax plan would lead to 7.8% less after-tax income for the top 1% taxpayers. Okay, so if you're a Jeff Bezos, hey, 7.8% less. I think you'll be okay. 1.1% lower after-tax for the top five and 0.6% for the other income quintiles. Nice word. All right, so moving down, moving down. This is the interesting part. Taxes long-term, capital gains, and qualified dividends at the ordinary income tax rate of 39.6% on income above 1 million. Again, that may seem out of reach right now, but as time goes on, this might be the norm for you. I don't know. Lastly, it states, increasing the corporate tax rate 28% would account for the largest revenue gain which is 1.3 trillion over 10 years in the plan. So that's corporate taxes, right? Mm -hmm. Lastly, higher taxes levied on taxpayers earning more than 400,000, that could be you, including higher tax rates on ordinary income, as well as capital gains and dividends would raise another 1.2 trillion over 10 years. So again, plan now for what's gonna happen later because there is nothing worse than being caught short with a ton of money. And you're like, ah, now I got to give away 33% or 25% or I mean, heck, even 20% is a lot. So if you have time, I'm going to link this at the very end of this video. It's how I am not going to pay any crypto taxes moving forward. And I talk about how I do it, the plan that I do it and how I do it legally. And that's the most important part. And really it all comes down to risk and safety. And that's going to lead us into question of the day. So let's jump in the office.